So I'm going to run through real quick on how you are going to be able to run the Adobe Creative Suite on an iPad Pro, third generation. Um, it does require you to subscribe to another application called Shadow. Um, you can refer to my uh, breakdown on what Shadow is in an, in, on my channel. It's one of my first videos. You can also go to my playlist and click on Shadow and it will run through what Shadow is, how to get it, and all that fun stuff. But this is going to be for after your Shadow account has been activated. So after your Shadow account has been activated, and you've downloaded Shadow Beyond onto your account, which again, you can refer to my previous videos on how to do that as well. You'll be able to put the Shadow application on your iPad. So I'm just gonna show you how, once you get to that point, this is gonna be how you put your Shadow app on your iPad. So you're gonna wanna download Test Flight because it is a beta app. Um, after you download Test Flight, you're going to want to go to shadow.tech. And once you go to shadow.tech, you're going to log into your account. So once you're logged into your account, you'll go to the Applications tab and you'll scroll down to iOS and that will take you to the Shadow app and the Test Flight program. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download the application and that'll put Shadow on your iPad. They will, once downloaded and once you log in, they will send you an authorization code that you have to put in to pair your Shadow Beyond with your iPad. So just do that, but then you'll have full access to your Shadow and you'll just click on the Shadow application and we'll hit start. And now my virtual computer is being streamed to my iPad. So I'll be able I'll be controlling a computer that has a Xenon 12 core processor, a Quadro P5000 GPU and 12 gigabytes of RAM. So not the best RAM, but it works. Um and this is on an iPad. So now I have, it runs on Windows. So now you have basically a full Windows PC on your iPad. So now I'm logged into my Shadow on my iPad Pro. Um, here I have full access to my PC running on Windows 10. Um, I already have Creative Cloud installed on this. So we are going to open Creative Cloud or I'll go to my apps and I'm just gonna <coughs> draw some circles in Illustrator just to show you the functionality with the pen so my shadow is just booting up so this is just like a PC booting up while I'm trying to open Adobe at the same time. Um, so I'm sure my PC in Shadow Headquarters is having fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Illustrator. Illustrator opens. And here we are. So I'm gonna create new. And I'll just go to Arts and Illustrations, we'll do this, we'll do that. I'm sure if you're watching this, you know how to run Illustrator way better than I do. But Alright, so, grab my little paintbrush thing, because I, I might as well be using Microsoft Paint right now. But I'm going to show you that it works. Go Chargers. So I just went ahead and took the footage that you'll see previous to this scene, um, put it onto my Creative Cloud folder, 
and we're going to go ahead and open up Premiere Pro on Shadow. So Premiere Pro is launching. We'll create a new project. <clears throat> so we got our boards. Open up my Creative Cloud folder, take the video, Oops. drag and dropper, and then we're there. So I'm going to run through real quick on how you are going to be able to run the Adobe Creative Suite on an iPad Pro, third generation. So, uh, I mean, you can hook your keyboard up to your iPad and work through it just like you typically would, or mouse and keyboard. You know, for this point, you may and may want to put, put down the pencil, depending on whatever you have to do. Like, dragging and dropping, I think, is a lot easier with the mouse than it is the pencil. But for, like, cuts... This thing is really smooth. Like, you can pinpoint exactly where you want your cut. It's really You'll nice. You'll be able to put... But I haven't seen any drop frames or anything yet. This is running on my Wi-Fi, so... And it's working really well even on Wi-Fi. But yeah, that's how you're going to use your Adobe apps on um, your iPad. So, I hope you liked the video. I hope this helps anybody who wants to you know, really take their creativity with them, take their projects with them, because just the iPad is just not enough and everybody knows it, but this will open up the true functionality of your iPad. So, thanks guys.